Hey guys, my name is Doug with infotainment.com. Um, we're working in the Ram truck right now, showing you guys how to install the Bluetooth um, or the Uconnect uh, Ram rear view mirror kit. Um, really easy to install. I just want to show you guys just a brief overview. Uh, just taking a quick video here today. Um, nothing overly professional yet. Um, that is to come here hopefully in the next couple weeks. But just giving you guys a quick snapshot of what's involved. Um, this particular truck doesn't have the overhead console. If you do have the overhead console, that just pops out of place. Um, just held in with retaining clips. Um, what, what we did here is we went ahead and removed the driver's side um, little sun visor holder. Um, that's just a T20 Torx screw that holds that in. There's a T20 Torx that holds this in. Um, and that's obviously on the passenger side. Kind of looks like this. Um, on this side here, these were, I believe, two 5 16 screws. Uh, those just came right out. Like this. Two of those. And then right here on the right A pillar is this panel here, the little grab bar. You just pop these little guys out um, using, uh, you know, like a little flathead screwdriver. And then up in there are two uh, 10 millimeter bolts like that um, and then that just pops out of place uh, once you remove all those um, you're basically ready to install the kit now the existing factory mirror you're gonna want to twist it off counterclockwise to remove it from the windshield uh, when you go to install the new mirror you're gonna twist it on clockwise um, so that's a little tidbit there uh, the other thing too I wanted to point out real quick is um, this little plastic cover here comes in a two-piece. You're basically gonna set the top one in first and then push the bottom one into it um, to snap it into place. Other than that, guys, it's really easy. I'll pull the headliner down here to give you a look. The wiring, obviously, you're gonna plug it in the back of the mirror. You're gonna route it up here. And then there's little push pins for along the whole way of the roof brace here. And then you're gonna come down here and then basically you're just going to run it down the a-pillar like so tuck it back behind here you're going to pop off this little dash access panel here just held in with retaining clips and then you're just going to plug it in so after you route it you're just going to bring it down here and plug it into the open connector it's really easy guys um, so i just want to show you guys just a real quick video on how that works a uh, couple things to note, if you have a heavy duty ram with the cab lights on top, the amber four cab lights, you will have to pin in uh, power and ground. It's the black wire and then the white with the green stripe. And we have instructions on our website on how to do that. If you don't have the, the four red uh, orangish lights on the top of the cab, you won't have to worry about that. Um, but other than that guys, completely 100% plug and play. Um, as I mentioned, we will have a more detailed video uh, coming soon. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention as well, um, we obviously went to the 8.4 in this truck. It did not have Bluetooth from the factory, uh, so we were able to easily add that. We also did add the little uh, left-hand steering wheel control here with the phone and voice recognition button. Um, that also goes in just fully plug and play as well. Uh, those of you who would like to order that, you can do so. Um, not required, uh, but that's something you can also get that will also work plug and play. So see our advertisement on our website for more details on that. But overall, very clean look. Um, the sound quality works perfect, and I think you guys will be real happy with it. So uh, thanks for watching.